Hey guys, it's me, Komosan. Welcome to another weekly FNAF news. This is where we recap all the news from this week. And we got so much information. We got new remote news, new fan game news, and plenty of other stuff. So let's get started. By the way, in the background, I am using SMT5 Vengeance's OST. Because it just came out today, I just want to use it. And let's just begin. So, YouTube has released a concept art for an upcoming figure of Phantom Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. That's what it looks like. I wish he was a little bit more greener. Because he kind of this is like Freddy with like this little bit like darker shades of like colors. But that's cool. I wish he was green. But new Freddy. <laughs> new uh, Phantom Freddy. I'm not sure how many people actually like uh, Phantom Freddy. But there's probably like a few fans out there. We also got a first look at Funka's upcoming Golden Freddy statue. Part of the new Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary wave. You can pre-order it right now by the way. So it's just Golden Freddy. This actually I think it blew up in controversy. A lot of people did not like it because like it had apple teeth or something. And a lot of people got angry about it. In my opinion, it looks fine. It looks cool. It's probably gonna be like $20 though. Uh, that's my only problem with Mulch is really the prices of some of this stuff because it's, it's very expensive. I don't know how some of you collectors buy all this stuff. It must be witch. But you just got Golden Freddy doing his pose and you get some of uh, the FNAF 1 office, a little bit of it as a background, like the fan, the cupcakes there. And yeah, that's basically it. It looks pretty good, and you can pre-order pre it right now, by the way, so you might as well do that. We also got our look at uh, Funka's upcoming Five Nights at Freddy Security Breach Wave, featuring uh, action figures, pops, and plushies. This is a the Wheelin' Wave, and we got, like, uh, the Wheelin', uh, Wheelin' Chica, Wheelin' Roxy. I think that's Eclipse. So there's action figures, pop figures, and I think Eclipse and Moon or Sun, something, Ecl like, one of the Wind Amatron, like Wind Sun or Moon. Uh, they both got plusies. So we got three fi action figures, three pop figures, and two plusies of both Eclipse and Wind Moon or Sun. I don't, I can't tell the, the difference. And you can also pre order this white now, by the way. So you might as well do that as well. There's gonna be a lot of pre orders today, by the way, guys. So you better open that wallet for Scott Cotton. So we also got another look at the. Funko's next mini mystery mini line, uh, part of the five upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary. So we got a bunch of uh, little pop, like little little figurines of uh, the FNAF animatronics. So we got Widow Chica, Golden Freddy, FNAF 1 Golden Freddy, Endoskeleton from FNAF 2, Foxy, Cupcake, Marionette, Bonnie. Uh, I think that's uh, Widow Foxy, Chica, Freddy, uh, Widow Widow Freddy, and Widow Bonnie. So. Those are a bunch of figures, and you can pre-order them right now. So I hope you, I hope you guys get the ones you want because it is mystery. So it's kind of a luck of a draw type of thing. But I believe in you guys, and if you do buy that, I hope you get your favorite uh, anim animatronic. We also got some more YouTube news. We got a lot of more news this week. Like Willie, we like since this is the tenth interval, so we get so much news about Mort. But we got a YouTube has revealed an upcoming plushie of Dreadbell from Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted: Course of Dreadbell. So this actually looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm not really a, like, I'm iffy about the design of it. Uh, it looks, it's fine, but I wish it was more accurate, but it's, you can't really make Dreadbell like a plushie, like, how you could probably, but, eh, I'm not, I'm not liking it, but I'm not an expert on, uh, mulch and stuff like that. There's plenty of mulch channels out there. I cover pretty much everything on FNAF except mulch. But it's, it's okay figure. If you guys like it, you can get it when it comes out. I'll probably reveal the release date when it comes out because I couple FNAF news. We also got a first look at the Funkers upcoming the Twister Ones Glow in the Dark Pop 4 pack. So um, all four of them combined uh, all together in like one big package. So we got, uh, I don't know any of these names. So we got Twisted Ones, uh, Freddy, Bonnie, this wolf looking character. That is not Foxy. But it's something different. I don't know his name. I never read the book. So apologies on my part. And we got uh, Twisted Chica. Which they all, all look pretty cool. Uh, if you want to pick them up. I, we don't know yet. But I will tell you guys when they come out. Now we got some t-shirt stuff. I kind of categorized it. Like on what type of merch it was. So all that stuff was like pops and stuff like that. Like figurines. So now we got some t-shirts. So... We got an exclusive first look at the upcoming sister location sort featuring Circus Baby by Hex. So Hex is the brand that Darko owns and makes his epic uh, stuffed animals that like all magnetic. So 
He's going into other stuff like with other merchandise, and now he has some T swords of Bonnie. Uh, not Bonnie, yeah. Sorkis Baby, sorry about that. And it's a Kelly reference. If you don't know, Kelly is a classic horror movie. I don't find it scary, but that's what the baby T sword is. And we got a. Because there's like, like paint going over her head, and it's supposed to be blood in the original Kelly movie. It's an iconic scene. And the second T sword says, Get ready for surprise. You know. I think when the animatronic says that, I'm not sure. I haven't played this location. I do own it, so upcoming playthrough. I just gotta beat all the other games before that. We also got a spring trap backpack has been revealed. So it's pretty cool looking. Uh, if you, we don't got no information when it's actually coming out. It just got an image of what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. We got a Fazbear fight logo for the first time, I think. I believe. I'm not sure. There's also like a Buddy Fazbell's uh, Boy Fuddy logo. They've been, I've been seeing that logo really often. So, guys, guys, tell me in the, in the comments below what that actually means. Like, what does that indicate? Like, is it a certain type of morph from a certain type of company or something like that? But it's a pretty cool backpack. It looks like it came out like five years in the, in the past, but it came out now. So, eh, if you want to, we don't know anything about it. So, this is an image. So, that's all I can say about it. We also got some leaks, so a YouTube's product of Mr. Chip was seemingly in the works for Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary. Teasers for the Wave lineup will be released in a month or so, so about in a month, I will be covering some of these teasers for Wave lines up, so that'd be cool. So here's what the Discord image says about it. So someone called Gaming Allen added Boss Baby on Discord. Funko's 10th anniversary lineup for FNAF has been recently revealed. You have an ETA on well, we can expect to see teasers and reveals for YouTube's lineup of FNAF 10th anniversary emotes. And uh, Boss Baby posted an image of Chipper. Chipper is a character from a Scott's old game and it actually created Five Nights at Freddy's because people thought it was too scary. So it's got like, you know what? I'm gonna make a scary game. And look what happened. We got 10, 10 years happened and we got some stuff. And they said props in a month or so. So expect that news in a month or so. So you might as well subscribe if you guys want to see more FNAF news every Friday because I cover that. But we also got a first look at Walmart's exclusive Tales from the Pizza Plex combo book featuring Haps and Somnophobia. I hope I said that right. Phobia Awards are always world. So it includes an all new story and cut fold out postal releasing in July 2024. So you guys are planning on collecting the books a little bit easier or just want to be collectible because it has a brand new image on it, I believe. So if you like that, pick it up uh i hope you guys like it i never read any of the tales from the pizza plex books i need to release something i need to weed but i don't know where to find them because i don't got money to weed all this stuff all this boards and stuff so i might have to do some digging online like you know a pirate does if you know what you know if, if you know you know you know <laughs> but uh yeah new book it's only gonna be at walmart so that sucks but you can probably buy it online so yeah but book two and three combined into one i don't know i didn't pick book one and two but it's whatever uh but yeah now that was all the morts news i know that was a ton of morts news but we actually got some fan game news at least these past weeks we've been getting tons of fan game news and i love when it, when we get fan game news because i cover fan games on my channel because i kind of do everything fnaf related i like doing it my channel is really FNAF focused. We got we got some news about Darker's FNAF game. So we got a uh, teaser image called Meet the Crew, which is a teaser for his game called Fazbell 64, a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game directed by Darker, described as an in-universe Nintendo 64 titled by Fazbell Entertainment with the spill possessing a machine in the now abandoned Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We are uh, guys, look at these Wendor's. These are crazy looking. They look so cute and so awesome. Oh my god, they're so cool looking. So we got two new characters. We got one lady of green hell and one dude with uh, blue hell. Most of a lot of people are making comparisons between him and that the boy uh, from uh, Friday Night Funkin'. I don't know what his name is, uh, but it's a guy like you play as and like like you know makes the beeps and boops and stuff. But we got it's. It's all the classic animatronics, so we got Foxy, Bonnie, Freddy, Chica with Cupcake, and surprisingly, our favorite little pal Helpy, Helpy's White Bell with the game. So I can't wait for this to more information to come out about this fan game. We just got this image of Wendell, and if you guys did not know that these Wendells were actually used in uh, the new season, they're going to be used in a new season for uh, Doco's interviewing uh, thing he does. So 
season three, I think it is. So we, he already posted like a video of it, like a like an intro of it, and he used these exact models. So that's very cool. We also got some more fan game news. So a major content update titled Fighting Chance will be released for Pop Goes Arcade on Steam this year. So uh, once we knew more information, a full showcase of its features is coming soon. So it's gonna be an in-depth probably video telling everything that's changed and stuff like that in the upcoming video. So I will tell you guys about it and I will most likely, if it's not too long, I'll post the video in here. Uh, he just puts like a little image, like a video, like a little five second video. I just took a screenshot of it because it's it's not really necessary. But that is all the fan game news. So we get a decent amount. We don't get a lot. It's mainly the big fan games that sucks. I like the little guys once in a while getting some news and stuff because I really like creative people doing creative things. But we also got some FNAF movie news. So if you watched the Summer Game Fest, uh, Jason Blum actually appealed and he mentioned something about Five Nights at Freddy's. So he said, you'll all be very happy to know we are working at this very minute on the sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's. It's coming, don't worry. So this, they were actively working on the movie. We kind of guessed that because, you know, we already got the information about the release date. So they were actively working on uh, animatronics, probably the props and stuff for the movie, location, uh, script and stuff like that. So they are actively working on the movie, which is great. Love progress on the movie because it's going to be a, probably some dry months, upcoming months for the movie until we get closer to the release date. Because it is coming out like next year or winter time. So that's a long time. So yeah. Also for game news. So if you were like me like two days ago, we were waiting all day for the FNAF Jeff's Pizza ARG for the upcoming game called Five Nights Buddies Into the Pit. But something happened they were having solver problems and stuff and it got delayed i want to cover this right here because most people probably didn't see my last video so yeah we it's in, it's delayed indefinitely so we don't know when it's going to come out probably in a few days i believe but it really sucked because it really messed up my schedule i was just planning on making a video off of it and stuff but nothing happened and we didn't it was kind of a waste of time but i don't blame them they probably weren't expecting as much people to be on the site, like we fussing it and stuff, waiting for some news to pop up. But it is delayed, so we just gotta wait for any announcements. So that sucks, but I will cover it for you guys. I cover everything for NAF. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. That's all the news we have for this Friday, this week, and how week. But if you got I cover FNAF news every Friday. So if you like that, subscribe to me. There's other people that do it. So if you want to, you can subscribe to them too. I'm gonna credit Johnny Blocks as in the description because I use it. I use the screenshots and stuff. There's also a technical pizza we I think I used a screenshot for uh, the FNAF backpack. Yeah, I did. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll put them in the description so you can go check them out. Uh, they make awesome, they they get a lot of insider stuff in that, which I hope I will get one day. But that's all the news I have for this week. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.